All right, uh, Vice President-elect uh, Pence is meeting as we speak with uh, Speaker Paul Ryan right now. The issue uh, came up yesterday that surprised a lot of folks that Republicans were kicking around, bringing back earmarks, something that Speaker Ryan for the time being uh, pushed aside, but th didn't outright cancel or say no chance and you know what. I want to get a read on that from former Senator Tom Coburn. Uh, he's made, of course, a career out of fighting. Uh, I would extend that to your marks, but any type of spending waste and abuse. Senator, good to have you. What did you make of this talk that Republicans were even kicking around the idea? Well, I think it just shows you the elitism, the, their arrogance, and the careerism that still invades and controls Washington. The very fact that they're tone deaf after this election, that they would want to bring back one of the most corrupt processes there are. You know, the Republicans say, well, the administration will spend this money anyway. No, it won't. Not if you say you can't spend it. And so it, it's, again, it, this is a contrast of doing your oath, which is living within the enumerated powers, or using the money that we don't have to feather your own nest and improve your chances for reelection. And it's a real simple process. A city needs something. It's the city's responsibility. But if they can get a congressman through a lobbyist to put in something that's an earmark, a congressman looks better. The, city, the citizens of the city don't have to be responsible, except our kids are going to be responsible. So it's the most corrupt process in the world, number one. Number two, it violates their oath of upholding the Constitution and the limited nature of the federal government. And it tells you that they are absolutely tone deaf, those that want to do this, is that they're the careerists and the elitists that really the country ought to throw out. And so when Donald Trump talks about draining the swamp, here these guys come back and gals and say, oh, well, the swamp's just fine as long as it helps us. It's not about helping America. But it's Speaker about helping Ryan them. didn't say no way, no how, hell no. I know. So that was and John what Boehner but, did. But what, John what, Boehner did. I remember that. But let me ask you, Senator, one of the arguments <laughs> for even bringing up this type of talk of earmarks is that it might help a President Trump get votes for some of the bigger things he wants to do, whether that's tax cuts, uh, other initiatives, um, but that you'd have to give <laughs> a little on that to get the big stuff he wants. Isn't that justifying more spending for more spending? Sure, it's bribery. Uh, you know, and, and what, look, if I get an earmark, I'm obligated to vote for anybody else that gets an earmark, right? So any bill that comes through, that's how we greased our way to $20 trillion worth of debt, was earmarks. That's how we got it, because if I get an earmark, I mean, you can't believe, I actually eliminated an earmark for picking up duck poop in New York City. And I did it by embarrassing the, the person that sponsored it. But I mean, it, it, it's all the stupidity in the world. There's some good things, I don't deny that, but it's not the federal government's role to do that. And that's how we got $20 trillion in debt. So, it, it, to me, it's just a shame that we don't have the courageous political leaders that will stand up and do what the oath to the Constitution says to do. Instead, they go this easy way of corrupting the process and enhancing their own political careers. It's sickening to me and so disappointing. Well, we hope it's short lie, but I have worries. Uh, Senator Tom the answer, Coburn. The answer to that is convince the states. Start taking the power and limiting the scope and jurisdiction of the federal government and bring it back home. That then not, we can that's decide. That's not a bad idea. You know, that's not a bad idea. Tom Coburn, thank you very, very much.